you got started in football? Probably started back when I was uh, 10 years old. I was a hockey player, came from a hockey family, outgrew the skates pretty quickly. I uh, couldn't keep up with the kids anymore, so I went to something more fitting. Played for the Brantford Bisons. Brantford's pretty much, you know, Hamilton's backyard, so we were always down here for different events. We never missed the Labor Day Classic uh, as a family. We were always there. I, I was always at the Thai Cat game. I enjoyed it. It was a dream of mine to play for the Thai Cats, and, uh, you know, it's coming true today. Now, you ended up playing CIS football at Mount Allison. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us why your decision to go there and what was this experience like? Uh, it was a great experience. Some of the best four years of my life were at Mount Allison. It was a small school that not a lot of people know about. You know, it, it wasn't really a hard decision for me because they showed a lot of interest into me. You know, that's what I wanted the most. I just wanted to go somewhere that wanted me. And the uh, adventures that go along with university and, and the, the weekends and, and the fun times, you know, I spent a lot of hard times in the gym when other people would be going out and, uh, you know, enjoying the after hours and stuff like that. And I just kind of, you know, put all my focus and all my attention on football and getting better at my position, and getting better at the offensive line and understanding football. And, and you know, it really became a, a goal and a dream that I wanted to accomplish by being uh, drafted and being a part of the CFL. It was pretty surreal. Uh, I never thought I was going to be drafted. I had a lot of family and friends that came over just to, uh, you know, to watch the draft. And I had a couple of... Uh, couple buddies, Cedric Gagné, Marco, and John St. Pierre that were also CFL vets and Cedric pulled me aside uh, when things weren't going well during the draft and, and he took me outside and he said to me, uh, you know, whatever happens today doesn't matter anything, you know, you still got to work, you still got to, you know, you got a chance and all that and sure enough, uh, as soon as he finished telling me that lecture, uh, my parents and everyone started screaming inside and, and uh, I was drafted to Calgary. They actually told you that if you went back to school, got some more experience, mm -hmm. played another year, they would give you another contract, but you decided not to do this. Can you tell us why that decision? I felt like my foot was in the door and I didn't really want to give up and, and go back to, uh, to CIS, nothing against Mount Alice, and I just, you know, a lot of my friends had graduated and the guys that I played with were all moving on, so um, I thought the best decision for me would be to try and get on with another team somewhere else. and. You know, sure enough, it worked out to, uh, you know, everything I could ever imagine being picked up by Hamilton, so. Can you tell us what was that moment to feel that you were getting a, another chance in the CFL as well as with the home team? That was probably just as, you know, great a feeling uh, or experience as being drafted, you know, getting the, uh, the call from Drew saying that they were going to bring me in and, and uh, give me a spot on the practice roster. And, and I knew I wasn't going to be... Um, I wasn't going to be a star right away. I would have to work my way into it. And, you know, it was a dream of mine since I was very young to play for the Hamilton Tire Cats. And, uh, you know, to come home and play in front of my fans and my, uh, my friends and my family, you know, that's everything I ever wanted. So can you tell us some of your mentors growing up? Uh, I looked at players that were uh, kind of the same size as me, uh, Marwan Hage, Angus Reed. In the NFL, I looked at Jeff Saturday, just guys that I can compare myself to. And I had the, uh, you know, I had the chance to play under Marwan for a few years, and I learned a lot from him. And he was a big mentor for me throughout my process. You're actually receiving a humanitarian award for giving back to the community. Can you tell us why you found this so important to to not just play football in this community, but to also give back in any way possible? I told myself if I ever got to the work I wanted to be, that I would always make sure I'd give back to the community because it's a big part of uh, where I am today. And, uh, you know, if I can go out there and, and reach out to, uh, you know, different kids around our community and, and show them that they have a chance of chasing their dream and their dreams come true, then that's what it's all about.